hello guys welcome to my channel this is elraj here today i'm going to show you a new photo editing tutorial of your sunset images so watch the full video and once you're completed with the tutorial you will be able to edit your sunset images from this to this so let's get started hello guys so now i am on the lightroom app so i'm going to open the image that i'm going to edit today so on the right side of the uh, app you will be seeing a lot of options here let's first go to the lighting option so this is the lighting option here and we'll start editing now first thing is exposure so we'll increase the exposure to 20 and uh, we will take the contrast to 80 See the contrast will boost up the details on your image and highlights we will take it down deep down this will be punching up all the clouds in the background so i'm taking it down to minus 95 and shadows i'll be further re reducing the shadows so that it looks kind of moody let it be minus 25 and whites uh, the sky looks more whitish here so I am reducing it so that the colors will come out this one also I am making it as minus 20 and blacks plus 10 next I am going to the colors tab so this is the colors tab here and now the main thing about sunset is the warmth in the sky so to increase the warmth you have to increase the temperature so I'm increasing the warmth to 20 and tint is about how the photo color looks. So I'm going to keep it to just plus 5 so that the sky looks a little bit pink. Sunsets are always vibrant so I'll be increasing the vibrance to 30. And saturation is about the amount of colors that uh, are being visible on the image that also will slightly increase 20 so next I'm going to the mix tab on the top right corner here to adjust the individual colors now so first one is the red HUV is the thing that is being used to change the color of the uh, image so in this case red I'm going to make it a little bit dull so I'm taking it to 20 saturation of red I want to increase it to 10 and luminance means the amount of light in that particular color that will let it be 5 next orange so orange I want to make it kind of reddish orange so I am bringing down the HUV so let it be minus 20 and saturation again I am increasing it to 10 luminance also plus 5 next is yellow so i want the image to look warmer so of course i'll be taking it to more yellowish side that is minus 10 saturation let it be zero luminance also let it be zero next the green again i'm bringing down the green so that it looks more of orangish to minus 20 saturation let it be zero luminance let it be zero now the pale blue I want the sky look sky to look pale blue so I'm taking it minus 40 saturation I'm increasing to 20 and luminance also let it be plus 5 now blue I want the sky to look pale blue so that's why I'm bringing it down to minus 60 saturation increasing to 10 luminance can be 0 and purple so the sky let it look more purplish so that it looks beautiful so i'm taking it to 50 saturation i'm increasing 40 luminance can be plus 10 the last one is the maroon i want it to look pinkish so increasing it to 20 and saturation can increase up to 10 luminance can be zero so now we have adjusted the colors so you can now already see the image has changed a lot before and after 
it already looks nice but still we can do it much better now let's go to the adjustment tab here so here we can adjust the quality of the image so if you want the structures to look more sharper increase the texture so in this case the boat and uh, the house wants to be sharper i'm increasing it to 30 so i just want the image to be more smoother so i am decreasing the clarity to minus 10 and dehaze so this is the main key factor to punch your image by decreasing the shadows and con increasing the contrast so i am bringing it up to 50 so once you do this the image becomes too noisy i will tell you how to decrease the noise in a while so next i am going to the noise reduction tab here so to reduce the noise increase this noise reduction i am increasing it up to 85 so the image becomes like kind of very smooth it down to 75 and there is another thing called color noise reduction whenever there is a lot of colors in the image you can use this to decrease the noise in the colors bringing it up to 50 so now you can see the image looks more smooth if you want to make it further smooth you can increase the smoothness I'm increasing it to 70 and decreasing the details to 20 30 so now you can see this is before and after before and after now you can create a preset of this particular editing that you are done so that you can directly use it on any of your sunset images so to create a preset go to the top right corner here three dots then press preset naming it as sunset four because i already have three sunset presets in my phone and then right so now let me try this preset which i created for other sunset images so this is one of the image that i shot in phone i am going to apply the preset to go to your presets you can go down scroll down so this is the preset tab here so right just now i created uh, this preset called sunset 4 so if you just click it it's perfect before after so let us try for this beach sunset image so going to the presets sunset sunset 4 which I created now isn't it amazing before and after so I'll sh look at this picture now it's a silhouette taken during the sunset and let me show you how this preset looks on this image so I'm going to presets again sunset 4 wow this is amazing so before and after so this preset is very much suitable for silhouettes you can use it so that's it guys you can use this preset on any of your sunset images after you edit that's it thank you and please like this video and share it to your friends and leave a comment if you have any doubts and uh, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon on the right side so that you don't miss my next tutorial video thank you have a great day bye bye